Hi everybody, welcome to another Torbens Live Colour event. My name is Fiona, I'm the Torbens Colour Specialist and we are here tonight to talk all things colour. So this evening I'll sort of explain how it rolls. So for half an hour I'll be on screen answering all of your questions um, regarding whether you've got anything that you'd like to know about our wonderful portfolio of products that we have available to beautify your space. Um, certainly to answer any, any and all of your colour queries that you may have. And also, we're here to give you guidance when you're embarking on a project. So you've certainly come to the right place. Um, the way it works is on screen for half an hour, and it's an opportunity for you to upload any questions that you may have, and we will do our best to answer them for you live. Um, if you do have any photos or um, pictures of any areas, etc., that you're wanting to um, inquire about colours, etc., please hold off loading them up until we finish streaming. Um, I have been told that it's very difficult to upload any photos, so but rest assured if you upload your photos, once we finish streaming and when we're no longer in front of the camera, I'll answer all of your questions and offer some um, colour assistance then. So I also want to make mention before we get into tonight's session that up until the 31st of May, um, proceeds from some selected Torbman's products go, um, go towards our in it together campaign and this is a fantastic um, campaign where we help communities who have been affected by fire droughts and certainly floods um, and we've all sort of been watching a lot of the news lately and there's a lot of that been happening unfortunately so it's a fantastic initiative and if you're wanting to know a little bit more if you um Obviously, you're on our Facebook page at the moment watching this, but if you go roll through the feed, etc., you'll see information about it. So I'd encourage you to have a look at that. So look, tonight we're all about talking about interiors and look, Easter is approaching and it's an opportune time to do some painting. And so I thought, you know, I'm going to um, bring to light areas that you can colour up and give you an idea of doing some quick projects while you're sort of having a mini break, if you like. And one of the things that we talk about, and you'll hear us talking about this a lot, is having the confidence to inject colour into your space and to personalise your space. So I'm also going to bring to light how you can create your own colours. And I'm going to show you um, my project that we've been embarking on. If you've been watching these sessions, um, my husband and myself, or I shouldn't say, I'm not really having much to do with it. I create colours and sort of say, I'd love that there, etc. But my wonderful husband has been doing some amazing work around our place. And look, we've created some beautiful, beautiful colours with the help of Colorsmith. And I'm going to show you my green door. I think it is fabulous. I am so in love with this door. But I also want to show you also how you can create a colour for your space. So tonight we're going to talk about, as I said, colour placement. And we talk about feature walls and feature walls look, are a fantastic way of injecting colour into a space. Um, you know, it's not going to sort of take over the whole space, if you like. I understand that a lot of people aren't confident with colour, and to be honest, that's what these sessions are all about, giving you some confidence with colour. We want you to be confident with colour because colour is the most amazing medium, if you like, and obviously with paint, that is available to create an instant change to your space. But one of the places where you can add colour is on your doors. So I want to bring to light, and I hope, hope my friends don't mind, um, a year or so ago my friends were building a house and they picked a beautiful colour that sits within the Torbens Library called White House. It's a very neutral grey if you like, very soft, very light um, but when paired with white, you can see just a beautiful, soft um, tinge of grey to the walls. And so, you know, they wanted that beautiful monochromatic colour scheme. So they have then paired that with a colour called Torben's Mojo for all of their doors, all of their internal doors throughout the house. And it is fantastic. So it's a way of injecting, I suppose, we're talking about injecting some colour, um, albeit this is quite a dark a quite a dark, dark grey, um, a beautiful tone of grey, and I probably should get it up on the screen to show you, and then I'll go to a couple of questions that I've already got a couple here. Um, so if you are looking to start on your colour journey, so I'm going to go to the laptop now. Yes, it's come up wonderful, and I'll pop myself in the corner, beautiful. 
go to www.torments.com.au. This is a one-stop shop here. It is fabulous. I love this website. It is very easy to navigate around. So you'll go to, as I just said, torments.com.au and you'll be brought up to a home page that looks like this. And the way it works is you've got your colors, you've got products, you know, you've got where to buy, find a painter, professionals, um, et cetera, et cetera. But so we're gonna start here. We're gonna click on colors. It's gonna bring you to a screen that looks like this. And as you scroll down, all of your colors are grouped. So you've got your whites and neutrals, your grays and blacks, browns and browns and blacks, <laughs> yellow, green, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a really good place to start. Now, if you are looking for a particular color and you are not able to find it within this library, there is another way that you can actually view a color as well. So I'm just going to see if I'm in the right spot. So if you scroll right down to where it says order color swatches, and if you click on that, oops, I've still got all my uh, colors in my cart from last week. But if you click on that, you brought up to a page that looks like this. And this is where you can start to really delve into if you know your color name. So for example, here's Mojo, which is the color that I'm talking about, which is beautiful. And I'm going to bring that up into a larger view for you. Fabulous, a stunning, stunning gray. I love this color and to be quite honest, I use it quite a lot. And then we paired this color and I'll quickly just hop out of here with White House. Here we go here. Again, a beautiful gray. As I said before though, it sits more, it has more of a, um, a neutral undertone. And so when we talk about grays, and you would have heard me talking about this before, but for those that might be new joining us, I'll quickly explain. So grays have a tendency, or I like to um, categorize them into, let's say four, groups and the first group will be a gray that has a blue undertone and then you've got a gray that has a red or if you like a purpley undertone and then you go into a gray that has a brown undertone which sort of you you will heard or you will hear people sorry calling it a grayish or then you've got a gray that has a neutral undertone which is something that you're looking at on your screen now so a neutral undertone to a gray, if you're, if you're shopping for gray and you're not sure where to start with, looking at something like this or something that has that neutral undertone is a really good place to start because this type of gray, if you like, is very adaptable and it works with so many other colors. So there's a little tip for you. So we'll come back onto um, screen. So as I said, we're talking about coloring up doors. Um, so I'm going to quickly have a take you to um, the door that I have created and then I'll get to answering a couple of questions because I do have a couple popping up on my screen. So I'm going to tell you, so when we uh, moved into this space, it needed to have a door to separate um, the living from the dining slash separate living area. So, and we've got, um, young adults that live in the house as well so we wanted to zone it a little bit better because it's quite open planned if you like and so the um, simple easiest way was to install a large barn door now it was like you know we could have painted it um, a beautiful white that matches the rest of the walls but we wanted to inject some color and for me I, you'll hear me talking about how color has the ability to evoke an emotion and um, you know, you want your color to be personal. This is what I wanted. I wanted to place a color within my space that meant something to me. And so I did just that. And I did that by using Color Smith. So I'm going to take you to a, an image of my door. Beautiful. I love this door. So this is my door and this is the green that I have created. So as you can see, it is from um, a plant. And the story goes like this. So when my children, I have two daughters, and when they were little, every single day we used to go, I used to live near a beach or opposite the beach, and we'd go to the park. And so, you know, I'd cross the road, we'd go over, the kids would be on the swings, and I would watch this plant against the fence line sort of 
growing if you like and changing so the beautiful new leaves would unfurl to a beautiful fresh new green and then you'd watch the um the other leaves sort of turning a more distinct distinguished older beautiful rich green and i used to love watching this plant sort of you know unfurl and change etc and my kids would be on the swings and i would be um pushing them and they would be squealing with delight and their laughter was infectious and I couldn't help but laugh. And oh, it gives me goosebumps talking about it now, but it's just the beautiful memories that um, that we make when we have you know, families or when you go on holidays or there's something that creates that. And so for me, I wanted to capture that memory of my children's laughter, which I did. So the green, which is um, reminiscent of the plant that I used to watch when I would push my kids on the swings at the park has been called infectious laughter. And so here is my door, here is my green. And for me, um, you know, when I come home after work, etc., or it's what I really love is first thing of the morning when everybody's still asleep because I'm a very early riser and I close that door and I sit back on the couch and I have my cup of tea and I look at the green and I can't help but smile because it reminds me of my beautiful family. So that's what colour does for me. It has that ability to evoke an emotion. I've got goosebumps. You know, I just, yeah, colour can do that for you. And I think that it's so wonderful and so special that we can surround ourselves with colour that means something. So I created that with Colorsmith. So I'm going to show you very quickly how you can create your own color. Then I will answer the questions. So I'll come back to screen very quickly. Change my um, screen. So Colorsmith is an amazing um, concept if you like. And so there are many ways that you can use Colorsmith. And you start by going to, um, whether depending on whether you have um, you can go to Google Play or you can go to the App Store. You can download the app and you can use the app. There's quite a few different ways. So you can create color from a photo. Um, you can create color from a ColorSmith window that we have available here as well. Or you can create color from one of the ColorSmith readers. Now the reader, if you're wanting to get a fantastic match, this is the way I would send you. And the way it works is you it Bluetooth to the app itself, and then um, once it's Bluetooth to the app, you control it via the app. And this has right in the center there, it has um, an LED light source. So that helps to capture, create, and match that color. So I'm going to show you. So we're talking about doing Easter projects, and we're talking about injecting some color into your space. And tonight we're talking about what you can do with doors. So I thought, you know, this is a great time, especially for kids, you know, you're home, you've got that time with your children, great opportunity to inject some color into their space. So what better way than with, I've got this fantastic little um, Volkswagen Beetle and the color is sensational. So I am going to use this tonight as my, um, as my little item to create color from. So I'm going to now go to the iPad and I'll step you through how I do this. So I'm on the iPad now. You can see up the top there, there is an app that is called Colorsmith. So I'm going to open that. It's just going to take a moment to load. And while it takes a moment to load, it's still happening. I'll tell you that when you get, oh, here we go. We won't worry about that. Okay, so we brought to a page that looks like this. So you can either go create from color library. It has been pre-populated with the most amazing colors. They are all grouped by color names. So whether you've got blue, green, black, yellow, etc., etc., And you can continue going through those till you find a color that you love. And then you go through the process of saving, naming, and then we can create. So I'm going to, for tonight, go to Create from Match. And I'm actually going to use, you can see there it says Colorsmith, but the first thing you need to do with the little tool is, is take the lid off, double tap here, as you can see here, so that I'm waking up my little device. So it's waking up, it's flashing blue, so that means it's looking to be paired with the app. So I'm going to hit Colorsmith. 
connect device, connect to a new device, connect to the black color smith reader. Wonderful, it has found the device as you can see there. Awesome, now I'm going to click OK. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose, I want it to be a flat surface to pop my device on. So as you can see, my little car here has lots of curves. So I'm going to open the door and use the flat surface here. Now when you are matching, and especially if you're wanting, you know, these tools are fantastic if you do have a painted area and you're wanting to match the paint, for example, that's on the wall. The first thing that I would suggest you do is to wipe down that area. You want your wall to be clean, free from dust, dirt, grime, etc., so that you can get a fantastic match. So now I'm going to pop my little device, as you can see here, onto the door. I think I need an extra hand. <laughs> Beautiful. I'll show you in a moment once I've got it happening. Now I'm going to go create from match and scan color. You know what? I'm going to do that again because Excellent, that's better because first of all, I didn't quite have it sitting flat. Now that I've got it sitting flat, you can see that it says excellent match before it said a good match. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it again to see whether I can get it better and I have. So an excellent match has given me a pretty well spot on. Look at that, color match. Ooh, I think that color is divine. So the next thing you do is you now, now that we've got the color created, we hit select. And now I'm going to save my color. So here's where the fun starts. You can, you know, if you've got a child that you're wanting to um, name the room after, etc., this is where you can name it after your child, etc. Or for me, I'm just going to hit save my color. And up here, I'm going to add, I'm going to be very, very basic here. I'm just going to call it. VW green. Okay, so now where it says down the bottom, it says save color. So I'm going to hit save color. So I'm brought up to a screen that looks like this. So what you can do if you are at home, etc., you're not wanting to leave, um, you can go into order test pot and you can have a sample test pot of your color, which will come in a test pot like this delivered to your door, which is fabulous. And if you order four of them, it's free delivery. Um, if you're heading into your local store where you can purchase the devices from, you can certainly purchase them from Bunnings, from a Torman's Trade Centre. I do have a question there, Jade, from you. So yes, from your local Bunnings, from a Torman's Trade Centre, you can purchase them online. There also is a colorsmith.com.au um, website. Hop onto that because you can purchase them through there as well. Um, but if I'm hopping into store, this is really important. So click on the order in store. Now what it does is it populates a QR code. So this QR code contains all of the information that is needed to create that color. So this is the recipe that's going to give us that color. Now, so you've got this here and you're wanting to, you don't want to leave home, hubby's going to go down to your local hardware store. You can click share and you can send the, the QR code via email, text, you can airdrop it, you can pop it onto your socials very portable way of um, putting color out there. So it is a fabulous, fabulous tool. Now I will just go back. The other thing as well, if you're creating a color and you're thinking, okay, what other colors can I put with it? This has a function called the combination function, which gives you a beautiful color palette of accent colors that will work with the color that you have created. So let's hit combinations, have a look at the colors that are there. They are fabulous and you can select any one of those colors to work with that color. So, you know, you've, you're painting look, this color very universal. You could pop it on your daughter or your son's bedroom door and you're thinking, okay, what can I pop with it? There's that beautiful, beautiful sort of um, sea greeny blue that's two, one down from or that you've got a beautiful, ah, oh, what would I say? It's a very, very, very diluted sort of um, 
limey sort of goldy tone it's beautiful it's almost chartreuse actually that's probably what i would describe it as you could use that as well so or if you're doing it for um, your daughter and you're wanting to inject a little bit of pink there's a beautiful pink that's going to sit with that so this takes all of the guesswork out of working out what's going to work with what so that's one fantastic way of creating color and having color at your fingertips so the next thing I want to talk to you about very quickly and then I'm going to answer questions is using the right product to complete your project so for me what I love about when you are coloring up a door I think that nothing looks better than when you're using color within a space on a door using a gloss finish and here's why and I'm going to show you and I've shown you this before so here is a standard color chip the color is called red gumball it's beautiful and so if you're wondering what a color you know if you are at the color wall and you're deliberating over you know which color will I use etc etc um, what's it going to look like in a gloss finish here's a little tip for you so get yourself here's the color chip again but on half of the color chip as you can see here I have put clear sticky tape so you can see that really well you can see how the color looks the color, the color sorry tends to intensify when you uh, gloss it up so to speak so you know we're talking about using a beautiful tone like this like the one that we've just made certainly using a gloss is really going to finish it off so the other thing you can find also at our color wall to help you when you are looking at sheen levels is something that's called all about the sheen and this has um, it's a sheen level indicator starting at a flat flat matte uh, low sheen semi gloss and gloss so this can also help you decide on what color sorry on what sheen level you want but the other thing make sure you're using a really good quality product and I'm always going to send you towards a product that I favor myself and as I showed you before when we were on the website and I'll quickly go back to the laptop when we were on the website before we were looking at products now the drop down product if we look at so we go to products look at doors and trim paints now we look at our Torman's water-based enamel. Now what I love about a water-based enamel, there's quite a few things. One being it has very minimal smell. Our water-based enamel has been endorsed by Sensitive Choice. So if anybody in your family suffers from asthma or allergies, this is the product to go to because it has been endorsed by Sensitive Choice. It is suitable for anybody that does have allergies, etc. Um, it is very low VOC, so volatile organic compounds which are admitted into the air as, you, as your paint dries. Um, it has inbuilt um, mold inhibitors, so it inhibits mold and mildew. Um, it's non-yellowing, so if you are just going to paint your doors white, if you like, and you want them to stay beautiful, um, true, white, bright, etc., this is the way to go. And the other thing has fantastic self-leveling properties. So, you know, the secret to using a water-based enamel is to work quickly with it, but then just let it, let it sit to level out and you'll get that beautiful mirror-like finish. The other thing that this Torman's water-based enamel has, it has what we call lipophobic technology. So lipophobic, you can Google this, it means literally, it's fat rejection, it's fear of fat. So the properties that are in this paint basically will reject fat grease grime so you think about this and if it's if anybody else has the same sort of thing happening at home which I do nobody uses door handles everybody just pushes the door open with their hands and you might think that your hands are really really clean but your hands contain a lot of natural oils etc you know or you might be wiping your face I won't do that now because of my makeup but you know I might wipe my face get makeup on it put it on the door and they're things that can compromise your coating but because the water-based enamel has that lipophobic technology, you're pretty well safe. So I'd send you that way. So I think we've covered a fantastic Easter project tonight. Um, go and paint some doors. Create some fantastic colours, especially, you know, the kids are on school holidays. Find their favourite to toy, sorry. Scan your colour. You can go down to, for example, you know, you can hop into a Bunnings store. Um, a lot of the Bunnings stores have um, a colour smith reader available where you can create color etc um, 
go and do it. Get yourself, get it tinted into some water-based enamel. For me, if you're gonna use a beautiful, vibrant color, go gloss, as I've shown you how gloss will look. Um, can't go wrong. Fantastic, awesome Easter project. So I'm gonna answer some questions now very, very quickly. Um, Hi Melissa, thank you very much for joining us. So your question, hi there, we are renovating and painting our walls cotton ball. We are having our kitchen cabinets made in cotton ball too. What trim door and roof would you go with, thanks? Okay Melissa, so there's two ways you can go about this. So for your, because cotton ball is a very, very, let me just see if I can get this up on the screen for everybody so they can see what I'm talking about. Cotton ball's a beautiful white. Um, it's, here we go, sorry. I'm thinking, talking, here we go. Where are we? Ah, oh, lovely, right, sorry. Right, again, laptop. There is cotton ball, fabulous, fabulous white. Um, just a very small amount of tint has been, if you like, injected into um, injected into that colour, and it gives you a white with just a very uh, slight bit of warmth to it, just a soft glow. So you could, if you wanted to, look. Depending on how big your space is, you could do your ceiling as well in the same colour. I mean, I'd be interested to find out: Do you have square set plaster? Do you have corners, etc.? How big is the space? what's going on your flooring, um, etc. But also you could do that and then you could also use the same colour, but as I've said tonight, using um, water-based enamel and you could go for a semi-gloss or gloss finish on your doors and trims and that would look fabulous. The other suggestion would be to use, um, as you're saying, your cotton ball, but then to use just brilliant white um, doors and trims and then the white ceiling as well that's going to offset the cotton ball and depending on whether you've got corner square set etc where the wall color meets the ceiling is where the eye will naturally be drawn and you'll be able to see the level of tint in the cotton ball but if you're wanting the space to feel um, large op open etc you could certainly use your um, wall color on the ceiling and, and you, your eyes are not going to have a, um, a focus point it's just going to continue looking up and over and it creates the illusion of more space so hopefully that helps answer your question if you do have any more um, thoughts on that etc just pop something else into the feed and when we finish streaming I'll certainly get back to you and answer some more questions okay hi Lynn thank you very much for joining our session so Lynn has said hi Fiona Planning to paint inside house using the one color. Should I stick to a white for ceiling and walls? I have dark timber floors. Hi Lynn, thank you so much for joining us. So I guess planning to paint inside house using one color. So are you, the question I'll ask you is if you're, you're planning to use the one color, do you want the one color? Are you going to go quite light when we talk about whites because there's varying levels of um, varying levels of strength when we talk about whites there's varying tones etc etc so is it going to be the one color that you're wanting on the walls and the ceiling doors trims etc um, or can you just give me a little bit more information about the your space I understand that you've got dark timber floors what sort of tone do they have you know are we talking dark in in the way of a jar that has more of a red undertone etc because if you give me a little bit more information I can certainly help to um, break down the whites and find that white, the right white for you to try. And the other thing I'm going to make mention of is when we talk about using colors and when specifically when we talk about putting whites into a space, here's a tip for everybody that's going to be painting over the Easter period. Go in, grab yourself a sample pot and then get yourself a large piece of cardboard. You want at least one meter by one meter square. Paint that piece of cardboard in three coats of your color move the cardboard to the top near the ceiling, down the bottom of the wall near the flooring, etc., um, around different zones within your dwelling. And you want to do that um, 
in daylight and also under artificial lighting to see how the color is going to play within its space. I think that's a really, really important tip because sometimes you may go to Jane's house down the road and she's got a beautiful gray and you're like, I love that, I wanna use it in my space. But depending on her lighting, her furnishings, window coverings, etc., will depend on how the color will look. So take that all into consideration. Anyhow, that pretty well concludes our evening tonight. Um, I'd like to thank you all very much for joining us. We are actually having a, um, a two week break over the Easter period, Easter school holiday period. So we will be back, I think it, it's the 28th of April. So um, I'll be online for the next half an hour or so. So if you do have any questions, pop them into the feed. Uh, but until then, I hope you all have a fantastic Easter. Enjoy those hot cross buns and lots of chocolate like I know I will be. And um, we look forward to seeing you again in a couple of weeks. And until then, happy painting, everybody. Bye.